Uh, the case for this video is Lonergan versus Skolnick. Uh, hopefully I got that pronunciation right. Now this is a pretty basic contract dispute. Um, a contract was reportedly entered into, according to the plaintiff, uh, for him to buy a piece of land for $2,500. Now he was communicating by letter uh, with the man he intended to purchase the property from. Um, the contract was uh, initially refuted by the defendant um, for a couple different reasons. And as they were entering, and as they were continuing these discussions, uh, he ultimately ends up selling the property to another person. Now, uh, Lonergan, the uh, plaintiff, assumed he had an option on the property. Uh, the appeal court, when they took up the uh, case, uh, disagreed plainly. It was very clear to this case. They basically say, a negotiation does not automatically imply that you have an option, an option being a uh, agreement to allow you to purchase something at a future price, uh, at a future date, at a certain price at a future date. And there was no option, there was not a clear option. And dis even then, um, the man, who, the, the defendant here said, I will sell within the week to someone else, if not to you. Now, you could read that theoretically as saying you have till the end of the week, but no, it says, I'm going to sell within the end of the week. Please get back to me if you intend to actually purchase the property. And so on all points, the appeals court simply shot down uh, the appeal and said, no, no, this is the, uh, the finding of the lower court was correct. You do not have any contract here. You did not have an option. Um, so again, the basic, case court, the basic thing the court is dealing with is uh, when does it go from negotiation to a contract? And they're pretty clear here that you need something more specific than this. There we go.